What up, Open Waters family? Just wanted to say hello. So, peace out. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Reporting live from the Camchas truck. The Yay, Camchas. you guys get to see our truck. The truck. <laughs> Very this exciting. Guy. Well, those of you that are watching online at YouTube get to see those of you listening on one of our other streaming sources. You get to imagine. You get to imagine us being in our truck together recording this podcast, yes. vlog, whatever. We just got done drinking some coffee. We were going to record in there, but they're closing up pretty soon here. So we just went to the yeah. car and we were like, yeah, we're going to record here. So yeah, no pressure on them or us. So yeah. anyhow, we had our open waters, our first at our house yeah. Sunday of the month. It was very cool. And it was great. It was a very intimate group, but yep. we, as always, oh man, the Lord joined us in such a beautiful way. And mm -hmm. I don't know, in those environments, I just experienced so much revelation. And I yes. was just, I felt him dropping stuff in my spirit was and very, confirming stuff. Very, yeah. very, very good time. And I think yeah. I, the only thing that needs to be happening is I need to pay more attention to the sound online. We, it was kind of scratching for time uh, toward getting everything set up and yeah. practicing. So it was, it was hard to get everything uh, situated, but... But and, we did it, yeah. and you can go watch it if you'd like at YouTube yeah. on Open Waters Worship. And Give so, me some feedback on the sound if you do go listen yeah. to it because uh, feedback's huge. You know, uh, you know, obviously, you know, make it something that actually is valuable, not just, you know, the sound sounds terrible. Yeah. Because I, I, I understand, and it can sound terrible, but I need specifics. Specifics. Yeah. Specifics. Specifics. Whatever the word yeah. is. Anyway. Okay. So, what is the more about us section today? Today's more about us section. I actually got section. one. So, what is your favorite car or dream car? Oh my gosh. Okay, mine, I know this is a weird one to have, but it's a Saturn Sky and it's the, oh, I forget what color it is. It's it's like a cranberry um, color. Like, it's like a, it's got a little hint of purple in it, but red with a hint of purple. It is... I love that car for whatever reason. Now I have seen, there's another car out there that I like that's in a beautiful like red color. I think it's a Lexus of some sort or something like that. One of those kinds of cars, but it's a really hot looking car. But the sky I'd have to say is my, my favorite all time. Nice. How about yours? Mine? Well, if it's, it's like stock cars, like uh, just like I buy one, Mine. it would be a uh, Corvette. Okay. I would say, I think the last one that I saw was like the 2020 yeah. Corvette, which I think was really cool. Um, but if it's like one that is souped up, I would actually just want like a souped up Honda Civic. Yeah. Wow. With a, la with a laptop. Check <laughs> with a laptop. Um, Why a laptop? Because it, it's like, it's it's for like getting your boost and your turbo and everything like that. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm not a super big car person myself. But Okay. I would like to learn and, you know, get more get yeah. souped up, turboed, wild Honda Civic. Anyway. Totally. That is my dream <laughs> okay. car. Interesting. I thought it would be something more extravagant. But no, I'm not, I'm not a big car figured. person myself. Yeah. I, I actually don't really care. And like, what, as long as it runs well and is safe, you know, we're chilling. There you go. Yeah. Safety. You're a safety guy. I'm a safety guy. So, okay. Anyway, today's... What is our topic Topic today is what is no sorry I was gonna say what is it's not a question what it's is? more of a declaration Jeopardy. today it is unity within worship or unity on the team within worship yeah the importance of that yep and the importance of it totally so we kind of had four categories or things that we just kind of wanted to zero in on and what was the first one the just first via? one is togetherness in essentially the performance side of things I'm not a big performance person but there is a performance aspect whenever you're playing worship in front of people. There is a, either it goes from a stage presence to just how together the band is um, in um, hitting things on time and making sure you guys are playing in the same time signature. You'd be surprised to see how many times people are thinking it's, oh, this is a 6-8 song? That's wild. I'm playing in 4-4. So it's just like, it actually happens. And so it's like, when you guys have unity, there's there's obviously communication, stuff like that. That's kind of hidden underneath the underneath the things. But um, pretty much, that's a big, big thing. Um, do you have anything to speak on that? Um, no, other than I had these notes open and it just was recording everything you said in dictation. W. Yeah, I know. That's a real W. Anyway, so uh, I was going to also say it's um, music, like 
how together you are can impact a lot of things. And just having a unified team that knows how to play with each other and how each person's style happens. Um, I think a really good uh, example would be me and Wayne. I've been playing with Wayne for I don't know how long. I think it's been like a couple of years now. And I've just kind of learned his style of how he plays I and the, some Wayne. of the rhythms he knows how to he plays normally. And so it's just like when I'm playing keys, I can kind of match his his patterns or I can, you know, when I'm on the drums, I can match him, his patterns with a beat. And so it just, it sounds great together because we can mesh well together. And that's because there's a unity between me and Wayne. Mm -hmm. And so it's just, it's nice to have the performance side of unity within the team on worship. So that's pretty cool stuff. Yeah. I think it's really important because, um, when you have that unity, you kind of have a focused direction that you're going to go in. And, and when you don't have that, it can tend to lead to all sorts of issues, whether it's, uh, it just kind of gets inside your head. Yeah. And so I think you're not able to zero in as much on just really leading people into mm -hmm. the throne room of God, because you are thinking so much about those other things, whether it be, oh my goodness, we're sounding so off or, oh my goodness, mm -hmm. this person is angry or throwing a fit because of whatever. I mean, I'm just kind of using exaggerations, but it's, it's like, it, it takes away from the performance side because you're actually discon you're, you're like, your, your mind is disjointed there's and there's discord mm -hmm. and, and that comes out not only in how you sing, but how you are able to just really focus in and in worship because you're, you've got all these other maybe technical things or even interpersonal type situations yeah. that are distracting from the focus and the goal. And that affects the performance. And it does, I, I mean, it, it can, you know, when you're inside your head and when there are those little things, um, of course it has a spiritual component to it, which we're going to touch on a little bit later, but it also just, it, it affects your ability also to just really give your all and mm -hmm. let your gifts and your skills flow freely because you're, you're caught up in that disunity. Um, mm -hmm. and then just, you know, if you're not, there's something about when you are, um, in the unity of the spirit through the bond of peace that you, your voice is even blend together better. Um, you know, if there's disunity, it comes out in so many different ways. Cause I, I think of even like when you're tense, you tense up all your vocal cords mm -hmm. and you cannot even produce the sounds that you, that you normally would because mm -hmm. you're tense. So, um, there's so many different ways that I think disunity can affect yeah. your performance. It's like, it's like you're in the car and you can always hit, like, I think for singers, this kind of resonates. It's like when you're in the car, you can hit the notes perfectly. <laughs> but when you get into the stage and you're on the stage with the band, it's like, man, these notes are just not coming out anymore. And it's probably because like, there's a part of you that's not super unified with like, oh, I'm like, maybe not even just within you. It might be somebody else in the band that's like, there's something coming again. It's not just spiritually, but just like you guys are, I don't know, rough, like not ruffling feathers, but there's like a word. It's just you guys aren't settled fully with mm -hmm. each other. Mm -hmm. Or maybe you're nervous that they're not going to like how you sing. Or maybe you're just like, there's something that is mm -hmm. giving you that strain in your neck or your throat. And it's not letting you hit those notes like you can in the car. Where you, when you're in by yourself in the car, the only person that needs to be unified is yourself. Yeah. And so I think the other yeah. part of that it affects performances is when you don't have unity, um, which includes being on the same page about mm -hmm. where you're going. There can be a real disjointed oh, way yeah. of operating where you have people going in one direction, even in performance. Um, that and then there's somebody else going in, in a different direction when you're not in agreement and in unity about what you know where you're going and mm -hmm. um, how that looks you could have uh different styles and so it doesn't mean let's just clarify unity does not mean there's no diversity unity does not mean you're always in agreement or on the same page it it, it does mean that even when there's disagreements we're going to stay connected. We're mm -hmm. going to keep um, from a place of love. And, you know, there are often systems, mm -hmm. obviously, within worship teams, or it's not all for one and one for all, or it's not all for all for each person. You know, it's like, 
I'm all for me and that's it. I'm an, I'm an individual. You are an individual, but you're coming together on the team and there mm-hmm. are going to be leaders. There are going to be people that are the music directors or the worship set leaders or, you know, whatever that have their function and they may not agree with the way you would want to do things or you may not agree with the way they do things, but you can still have this unity because if you don't have it and if it's, let's say, even if you're saying it out of your mouth, even if we say it out of our mouths that, you know, oh, it's fine or we agree or whatever, we're, we love each other, we're in unity, but in your heart, you're like, I could do that better or I don't, you can say, I don't like what they're doing, but you know, if you have like a total like passive aggressive thing going on in your heart, it is going to come out in that performance and it's Mm -hmm. going to affect everything. And I think in a really practical manner, it's just like when there's not, not a man, like not a huge unity, there might be different definitions of different things. This is getting really practical with it. Not even just like I align with you and what you believe and how you play and stuff like that. It's just, I also am like, I'm not even sure how you use your, your cues. Like, right. is this a chorus or right. is this a different thing? Is yeah, this, is this totally. a bridge? Cause like I have totally. had this as a bridge and this as yeah. a bridge. Right. And it's like cross fingers or like a, the, like, a like an L with your hand. Yeah. yeah. And so it's like, it's, if there's no unity and there's no, like, I don't want to say formal training, but if there's no like definitions being set, it's a really hard for right. unity to be there. Right. Especially when you like, everybody has different backgrounds and what right. they've, they've done right. and how they've played. It's just like, okay. Need, that's why we are given a leadership is because without leadership, there is no unity. Right, right, right. And yes, you can say Jesus is our, our person and he creates unity. Yes, it's possible, but God yeah. gives us people that are ordained to be leaders over us too. Yeah. So I think, I mean, that's a sidebar other yeah. than our four points, but guidelines to how to get to unity. Mm-hmm. One of them is, is leadership. for leadership and leadership to establish good communication mm-hmm. and good guidelines and good, you know, systems of operations obviously we want to follow the holy spirit and where he's yeah. leading so he can he can change the order that we have and the decency of mm-hmm. whatever we're doing yeah so. and i would say even on you know, on that topic too it's just like expectations from leadership is okay you know if they expect you as you when you come in for practice it's it's not going to just be you hearing the first the song for the first time right you know it's kind of like an expectation you've played your instrument before right so you're not going to go and sign up to be a guitarist and this is the first time you've ever touched right. one right and so there is an expectation in it like you know anyway that's a completely different sidebar just like you know within right. leadership there's a leadership and that creates unity as well and yeah. so yeah mm-hmm. agreed Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. What's the next part? Okay. So the second one um, that unity within a team affects is the atmosphere. Yep. Why don't you talk about that? Because that was your... That was one of mine. That first one and the second one are mine. And this, the atmosphere is, I think, a big part of, uh, I mean, unity is a big contributor to the atmosphere. And that is because... If there's no unity, it's going to be felt in the music because there's going to be people may not, like I said, in the practical, there's going to be different chords being hit. You guys may hit different uh, parts of the song, but in the spiritual, it's just like people will be able to pick up on the discord happening with on, within the band. Um, it's just like people were, will feel the tension. Like what you bring to the team, the practice is going to be felt in your worship. Yeah. Um, and whether that's from a singer and they will actually hear the discord in your in your voice, your yeah. tenseness in your voice, you're not enunciating your O's and your, your vowels and stuff like that. It's just like they're going to hear it and, and, or they're going to feel it in the spirit. And so it's very, it's very real. I mean, I'm not, not trying to say that. There's been times where we've had some disagreements um, during uh, worship or even just like different spiritual things that have come up in, at New Creation during our worship and we've just had to come against them. Um, and it's just there's a clear difference between when there's a spirit of discord coming at us, like literally just something for some reason will bug somebody (laughs) and you don't even know why it's just something so stupid. Like there was one time where like uh, one of the people on the team told me how to play the drums. Like this is how you, this is kind of like what I was expecting. I was like, okay, I was like, got a little, little, you know, like you're going to tell me how to play the drums. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, bud. Uh, I'd like to see you in a drum cage. Yeah. Looking like a chicken with his head cut off. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no. And so uh, tell it's us just how like, you really feel Josiah. And so it's like that. And then also coming back to like, you know, why do I feel that way? Oh, there's something here that we need to, you know, come against. And some, one of the other people on the team was like, yeah, I'm feeling that too. And so, um, 
Lester was awesome. We and me and him prayed against it. Yeah. Practice went so much better. Just like yeah. after that was gone, yeah. like things just went so much better. And it's it's not even like in a sense like the disunity was causing practice to take longer too. That's another thing. It's just like people can feel it, people can hear it, and then people can it can even impact how we are practicing or going through our songs. Mm-hmm. And so it's just like having a like the atmosphere is like unity affects the atmosphere. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, and I think what I said before, too, applies to this. That yeah. Sometimes we can think that it isn't felt or known, mm-hmm. but we are experiencing it inside of us, and it does put that energy out there. Yeah. And it affects other team members, and it also affects, you know, the yeah. the people that we're, we're inviting to join us to enter into the presence yeah. of the Lord. And, you know, it affects your ability to... Uh, break through the atmosphere mm-hmm. and to not partner with let's say what the enemy is doing but uh, we want to partner with what god is doing but yeah. it can some it can dampen your mm-hmm. ability your connectors and and being able to connect with what he wants to do in a room and what what he wants to release into an atmosphere yeah. when you don't have the unity i would just like to so like like the the temple of david i mean and solomon as well like um David more was known for his temple and the musicians inside of it where they where they were leading worship. They were so in unity there that it, it's been told through history. That's how unified they were. Mm-hmm. And so that's kind of just like a sidebar of just like how what unity can do is it, right. it just creates an importance and a depth to what you're doing as well. Right. Um, there's gonna also something else I was going to say, too, um, but I guess I'll save it for later. Yeah, I mean that unity is important. It is so important, and it does it it affects the sound that is released, mm-hmm. within, which then affects what is what what pierces the atmosphere, mm-hmm. and what what effects are happening in the atmosphere. Yeah, unity is also. I think this is kind of a sidebar, but it's it's it goes along with this, and it's you get to what unity isn't just for with us with other people. It's also us with the spirit of the Lord, and so we get to decide. Who, if we are going to be in unity with the spirit of discord or a spirit of whatever anguish, whatever spirits trying to come in attack or, or you get to partner with and be in unity with the Holy spirit Mm -hmm. and what God is doing, which is obviously what we're going for. Um, and, but it, it requires a, um, you have to acknowledge when the enemy is, you're aligning with the enemy or you're aligning with the Holy spirit. Um, I don't know who said this, but I believe like somebody I listened to said this and it was just like, you want to know, you want to, you don't want to hear what the enemy is doing as more than you're hearing what the Holy Spirit is doing. Because if you're hearing what the enemy is doing more than you, what you're hearing the Holy Spirit is doing, you're listening to the wrong voice. Mm -hmm. And so I want to be to the point where I'm, I have been so unified with the Holy Spirit that I am just so in line with what he is doing. And I've just been in unity with him. Yeah. And I think, you know, if, if we're in unity ourselves with the Holy Spirit and then all the people on the band are in unity with the Holy yeah. Spirit, there is going to be a certain level of unity that's just going to be a baseline. Yeah. So anyway, Agreed. that's a sidebar. Totally agree. Um, I was also thinking as you were talking that disunity is like a chink in your armor where then there's access for, you know, for the enemy. When you're in unity, it's like an, an a layer of protection mm-hmm. because you're, uni- you know, like the classic united we stand divided we fall Mm -hmm. so um and that's that's everybody Mm -hmm. no one left behind yeah so what's the uh, next point these ones are yours brother the flow in following the holy spirit and connectedness of the team is affected by unity so essentially what i what i was talking about with that is when we are in unity um the holy spirit it's just like it's just like butter, you know, it just flows through and Mm -hmm. it just, um, it just, the capacity of what can be done when there's unity versus disunity is when, when you have that connectedness in the team and you feel, it's just like Josiah, when we worship together, partly because you're my son, partly because we've done it for a while, we have this love for one another. Um, and it, and we can disagree. We do disagree on things often, um, about how we're going to do things. And, um, and one of us will win out. Right. But, 
uh, or we decide, you know, what's, what's going to be best or whoever's leading in that moment will decide what is best. But there's just this flow that comes from that place because, because we have that history, because we have that connection, because we have that love and it just, the, the notes begin to flow together. The, the ad libbing flows together. The flow of the songs flow together. The Holy spirit, it's just like he, he, that he inhabits the praises of his people. When there is that connectedness, you can just, it's like this beautiful symphony that literally you are together and you just go together like a you just move with where the Holy Spirit's moving and it's ease. It's not, it's not hard. It's not mm-hmm. wonky. It's just flows. Yeah. Yeah. That's all I got to say. Nothing is, yeah. to add? <laughs> no, I mean, okay. I mean, yeah, a hundred percent like flowing in the spirit is, comes with the unity. I mean, it's for me, it's almost self-explanatory, but yeah, a hundred percent. And I think unity is a big part of flowing. Cause if you, someone's thinking about going this way and you all, everybody else is going this way. Right. I mean, yes, they're going to default to the, the majority, but it's yeah. also just like, what is he thinking about that? You know, right. or what was he, who, what is he in unity with? He, right. cause he's not in unity with us at this right. moment, which right. is okay. It happens. Uh. Um, but he's, we're going I've in this I've personally way. been responsible for, for that happening. I mean, and here's the thing too, that, that if it, if it is an opposition, you're, you're going to know like, okay, what's happening here? What's happening there, Josiah? <laughs> it just stinks, bro. <laughs> oh, great. Um, anyway, so I mean, if. We, we're getting sidebarred, totally yeah. distracted. Anyway, keep going. There we go. So um, I totally lost my train of thought. Uh, but anyway, so apologies. Yeah, you should apologize. I did. Uh, um, there is. I'm thinking of that verse that talks about um, there's one God and Father of us all, and it's just anytime in any area, not just in worship, but when there's unity. And you're, you've got this one God and Father, this spirit that we're all connected with. When you're in unity, you can see that so well because you are all on the same page. It's like somehow you end up on the same page. Totally different people, different opinions, different skills, different different frames of references, different all sorts of things, cultures, everything. And yet you're coming together as one and you are so it's so evident when you all it like starts to flow out of you in the same kind of message or whatever and there's confirmation after confirmation and you're all moving in this direction and it's just further proof that there is truly one god mm-hmm. and that you're all connected together with this one god mm-hmm. yeah. so yeah that kind of leads to your next point too yeah so the the last point that we have is unity allows for diversity which allows for more creativity and what mm-hmm. do i mean by that Like I said earlier, unity with diversity. Unity is not, um, not without disagreement and without differences of opinions. And it's actually the differences that bring more color and beauty. I can, I only have my ideas and Mm -hmm. my way of thinking. Now there are some people that are huge creatives that really think outside of the box and that they're hundred steps ahead of everybody else. But even the creatives need other creatives to come together that think differently than they do, that fill in and beautify and brighten up their, what they're creating and what the Lord is using to, how the Lord is partnering with them to create. And so it's this diversity. So I think one, we shouldn't shy away from that. We mm-hmm. shouldn't be afraid of the differences in opinions, uh, even theologies, how we do things, um, what we think about things, what we think is right or wrong or methodologies or how a song should be like organized and put together. It's those differences that bring out more beauty and and offer more creativity mm-hmm. than one person can do. So yeah. when you're unified, you understand you don't get defensive if somebody else is mm-hmm. uh, like, let's say you present something and then that creates another thought that creates another thought. And it is, it's not, it doesn't look like you originally mm-hmm. thought of, but it's actually something even better. And, or 
you know, if you're in unity, you don't, it's not about me and my idea. It's about us and what the Lord is creating mm-hmm. through us. And it's yeah. just, everybody adds their peace and we're okay with it because mm-hmm. we're in unity and, and yeah. because we're in unity, that flow happens in that time yeah. too. So not, you know, I think that, I mean, yeah. our God's not, our God's not just a white only God. He's, he's also <laughs> a black God, uh, Asian God, uh, you know, he's all the races, yeah. Um, he's, he's for everybody mm-hmm. and he died for everybody just the same as he died for me and you. And so it's just the fact that we could be offended at like different cultures and stuff like that is mm-hmm. kind of sad, but it's yeah. also just like, this gives us an opportunity to rise up and just, you know, wow, they got some good, cool music over there. Let's see how we can incorporate this into mm-hmm. our music. Right. Mm-hmm. And, and I think, you know, unity in like having different cultures, like we have one lady on our team that's like, I think has a gospel background actually. Yeah, she does. And, uh, it's very cool because I, I enjoy worshiping her with a ton. Cause I think I, I, I want to, I want to learn gospel music so bad. <laughs> and it's just one of those things. It's just like to see some of that come out in worship. It's like, it gives us a chance and, it, cool. and it's because we built up this unity within yeah. the team and it just happens, you know, yeah. she, it comes out and we just start playing a little bit, something else. And, it, and it's growing more and more as we get to play with each other and, you know, worship alongside each other. It's just, it's pretty cool stuff. Mm, so I'm thinking of her song. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. <laughs> She's broke out into that last yeah, couple good. Sundays ago. I loved it. it. But fun. yeah, even different cultures. I, I mean, diversity yeah. in, in culture adds so much to the creativity. So unity allows for diversity and allows, mm-hmm. which then allows for more creativity. Yeah. So I just wanted to end, I guess this with talking yeah, about, I'll just say one more thing. Oh, so yeah. I'm just going to go over, were you going to say all the points again? No, I wasn't. I was going to actually, um, give a couple of ideas or points on how to foster. Okay. Well, unity. With say that in team. one second. I'm okay. just going to go over the points that we said, which okay. is the first one is that performance unity affects performance in that, it actually, when you guys are together, it improves the quality of music you guys bring. From the singers to the instrumentalists to knowing where you're going in the song, it's important in the performance side of things. Which I don't like to think about performance much, but it is a, a factor in actually worshiping well. There is an aspect in something we should probably do an episode on is worshiping with excellence. Yeah. And so we'll probably do that sometime soon. Um, the other one is, I'm reading off her cheat sheet, is the atmosphere, because I want to make sure I get the how we said it correctly is the atmosphere and that is the spirit in the room essentially and it is affected by unity when there's a spirit of discord it's felt within like the the practice the audience in the in team it's just felt everywhere in the atmosphere the third one is is the flowing in the flowing of the holy spirit and how you guys flow together with following the holy spirit and the connection on the team and then the last one is diversity and creativity unity creates diversity and with Unity diversity allows, creates yeah creativity yeah i mean and uh, diversity creates fosters fosters there we go. A great word. that's it unity creative, allows creative for diversity language. which fosters more creativity <laughs> see we're go. so in unity because i'm happy you bring boom. your creative boom see how we did that language w that's right. w okay. so i was thinking just a couple of ways that how to foster more unity in, in the team i think we talked about one of them which is good leadership like a leadership that communicates and fosters, Mm -hmm. oh, there's that word again, Um, you know, the boundaries and where we're going and the communication so that everybody can be on the same page. I think another thing is to just do away with the idea that that, um, differences aren't unity. Differences aren't the, having no differences doesn't mean you're unified and having differences doesn't mean you're not unified. So being okay with differences and actually encouraging people to a safe environment where differences can be displayed in healthy ways and, and worked out in healthy ways so that you can, you know, have that creativity. What are some other ways that you think unity can be fostered, Josiah? I think unity. Mike in your face. um, (laughs) Unity can be fostered with time with each other. Mm -hmm. Like for many cases, like me and Wayne, I think you, did you talk about this one? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. Okay. I don't, I don't know. Maybe you, you said it. You zoned out. You didn't pay attention to what I said. No, I was just making sure you didn't say it in passing. No. Okay. W. I don't think so. W. Now I get it. It's mine. 
no, no takes backsies. There you go. Um, so it's time together. Like for people like me and Wayne, and I think now, like even with the sound team and Les Lester and like Paul and stuff like that, it's just time together is huge in knowing how everybody thinks and knowing how everybody thinks is also important in, in unity because it also creates space and grace to give people um you know mercy and grace for when you know they do something that maybe usually ruffles our feathers but maybe it's like oh i know how he thinks so he was meaning it like this i guarantee you right and i mean and so, he can be human yeah right? we have off days we're messy yeah we're humans and so it gives us a chance to you know um just give grace to people and also the more time you spend with people just the more affection you have for each other yeah, you know you true. just feel like more like a family you know and so like i've spent quite a bit on the team it's like you know the team is becoming more like a family yeah just more close together and just like this is you know great place to be it's a place i'd rather be yep yep so creating time worshiping together and so that history and then also Mm -hmm. the time for you to connect apart from Mm -hmm. worship apart from Mm -hmm. your what you do you know your skill and your yeah so i think that's really important yeah absolutely anything else you know there's there's probably some more but that's the oh, one I'm i sure had there's, a lot. there's plenty yeah um there are more practical ideas those are some more general yeah ideas yeah yeah and so anyway those are the ones i got and so i hope you guys enjoyed the podcast yeah so feel pray free to... together too by the way that's Prayer a great one yeah. develops unity like nobody business so <laughs> Cause ain't nobody do, do me, me like, like Jesus. Jesus. Mm, mm.